What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new edition of Buy or Pass. As you guys know, we've done this in the past with upcoming new action figures that we're going to be getting from either WWE Mattel or AEW Jazzwares. And today we're going to be covering AEW Jazzwares Double or Nothing Fan Fest reveals, or not really the reveals, but future figures that we're going to be getting. I'm going to tell you if you should buy or pass them and give you my own honest opinions on why you may want to skip them or you may want to add them to the collection. I'm going to give you either Either or and give you a final answer on what I would personally do if I were out there for the majority. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. We got a lot of figures to go through, as you guys know, but I should be able to run through them and give you the idea. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are you going to be buying or passing on these figures? Leave me your list down below or tell me if you're going to cop or pass on most of these figures. But let's start things off with the Ringside Exclusive Authentic Scale Ring with Sting. You guys know this is what? Our third Ringside Exclusive Ring now. It does come with the Sting, but for me, Brad, I'm going to mark this down as a pass. Now, of course, every figure on this list I will be copying and reviewing for you guys so you guys know what the up and up is with all of these different figures but for me on this one if I were you guys I would skip over it unless you really want an AEW Rampage ring or you missed out on other stings I just think there's a better way to get a sting and there's not much new about this it doesn't come with the coat it's literally the Walmart exclusive with a different shirt graphic and a new screaming head sculpt but I think you could possibly get that later down the line or you could buy the ring I guess and then sell the ring and keep the sting but I think that ring may be hard to move. I don't know. You guys can let me know your thoughts down below, but I would say pass. Next up, we have a couple Supreme figures. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. All the Supremes, man. Supreme Cody, Supreme Brit, Supreme Omega, Supreme Malachi, Supreme Lucha Bros. Every single one of these, that's an Instacop. That's what we call an Instacop. That's where we don't even think about it, Brad. We just buy it. Buy it. Don't think about it. Buy it. If you see these figures on the shelves, Buy it. Absolute 100%. You dive head in to the Supreme figures. I'm not, I may, depending on how many of these I find out in the wild, man, I might be a never, never leave a Supreme behind. You know, I, I know that's tough to say with the price point. We'll have to see about that and sit on that, but this is an Instacop for all these. Give me all the Brits, Cody's, Kenny's, Malachi's. I'm buying them all, Brad. You can mark all those down as must cops. That's an Insta cop for all those Supremes. Until we know the quality for sure, that's what we're going with for the Supreme figures. Now, diving into Unrivaled Series 11, we do have Jungle Boy right here, and I have Jungle Boy as a pass. Now, the reason being is because I think Series 5 is fantastic. I think Series 5 is a lot better than the Series 11. I think it's a perfect head sculpt. We even have the Ringside Exclusive. I would say go get the Ringside Exclusive or the Unrivaled 5. I know if you want some more colorful Full trunks you want some different head sculpts i guess you could get those or maybe you missed out on those i think they're still retail price though or around retail price every figure just about is right now with the unrivaled line because they've been backed up i guess and now they're starting to overstock i would say pass on jungle boy i think there's better jungle boys but you can be your own judge unrivaled adam cole now, for now for this one i did put buy i went ahead and put buy on this one i think that it's a really strong figure here we are going to see how tall the neck is but i know the elite 92 is a very strong adam cole but we got to get the first Adam Cole AEW figure, right? We got to compare and contrast the elite Adam Cole to the unrivaled Adam Cole. So I went ahead and put cop here. I put buy. I think this is one of those buy figures. And, you know, you got to get the comparison. You know, you got to get that comparison in there. And we'll see how that goes. See how his first figure is. But I think for now, this is a buy. Next up is Penelope Ford and Kip Sabian. Now, I think these two kind of go together here. If you're going to cop one, you probably need to cop both. But I could also see, you know, if you're an only women's collector, I would say I'd say cop it. I'd say cop every women's figure. If you're all about the women's figures, man, cop all of them. Because they are growing slowly but surely. But it's not like the men's where there's, you know, like six or seven every month you know it seems like they're dropping new men's figures so you don't get a whole lot of women's figures but you know when they do pump those out there I think that you should get those so if you're gonna get both I'd say get both there but that's kind of up to you you know I'd say expand your rosters but that's that's up to you I'm gonna leave that one up in the air for for all of you to decide speaking of which we do have the unrivaled 11 Darby now if you're Darby completionist that's a cop automatically but I don't think it's a must-have I don't think it's a must-have Darby I'd say pass for the majority. If you have the Unrivaled Sting from Walmart, maybe you do want to cop it to pair it with that. Or, again, you love Darby Allen, that's a cop. But I don't think it's a must-have. There's so many Darbys out there, so many good Darbys in his wrestling gear that I would take one of those over this one, but it's still a pretty sick figure. And then we move on to 
On Rival 11, Sammy. Now, this is going to go for the whole inner circle in these prison outfits now. I think that if you're going to cop one of the guys in the prison outfit, you might as well cop the whole team, right? You might as well get the full team. You don't want to have one guy in prison suit and the rest of them in their wrestling gear. If you want that full inner circle look, I'd say go ahead and cop the full set there. But I could easily see this as a pass. Not my favorite head sculpt here for Sammy, and there are, there are two other wrestling gear Sammys that you could cop. But I would say pass on this unless you want that full inner circle look look in the prison jumpsuit now if you're a casual i'd say pass but if you want that sick you know full together inner circle man this is an absolute cop with the full team i'm talking jericho i'm talking hager i'm talking santana and ortiz all those guys man cop them all together if you're going to do so next up is red velvet kind of the same as penelope ford if you're a women's wrestling collector i don't think she's like i, I don't think she's just absolute must have at this moment but it is her first figure it's very early on here i don't know how much she's going to show for him it could be a possibility because women Women's figures tend to show form a little bit more, but we will have to see about that. I would put pass for now, but if you guys really want a red velvet figure, you dive on head into there. Next up, we have Chairman Sean Spears. Now, this is going to go hand in hand with our inner circle, right? If you want that full set in white and purple, you go for the full set. The MJF, the Sean Spears, the Wardlow, the FTR, the all of it. If you want all of them, man, you dive head in and you get every single one of them now i would understand if you want like a certain look of a certain character you know you like wardlow in the white you missed out on the black version same thing goes for mjf you missed out on the other ones things of that nature sean spears right here with a white sleeve i think he looks sick but i guess if you want that full set go full set or don't you could save a ton of money if you skip over the full set you can put you know money into other collections but again if you want that full white gear i think they're going to look sick once you have that full inner circle and that full pinnacle and all their gear it's going to be a very sick visual but you may be on the fence where you're like if i cop sean spears then i gotta also get sammy Guevara. like do you want both sets of both factions that's another thing that you have to consider next up we have the street fighter gamestop exclusive set with the young bucks and kenny omega now i like this set a lot but i think we, we have a theme here we have a theme here right a lot of these figures go together and that's probably a smart business move by Jazzwares and AEW to say you know they, they're really wanting to complete this set kind of like they did with the Dark Order right you're not going to just want one guy from the Dark Order you're going to want to complete your set so same thing here with the Street Fighter set if you're going to get one of them you might as well get them all you're not going to get one Nick Jackson and leave Matt you know like I just don't see that happening you got to have both guys there and then you got to have Kenny Omega to represent all three in their Street Fighter gear I think that makes the most sense for me next up we do have unmatched series number six i do believe we have unmatched malachi now by the time we get to unmatched malachi will we already have the supreme this may be a pass for you if you already have the supreme malachi black i think if the unmatched comes first you grab the unmatched because it will be the first time malachi but if we have that supreme in hand which i imagine we would probably have the supreme before we get the unmatched figure i say cop the supreme over the unmatched i think you could skip over the unmatched because you already have the unmatched practically and you get a ton more for your money so i would say skip over unmatched malachi Malachi. We have Ruby Soho. I say this is a cop because I think it's the best Ruby Soho, Ruby Riot style figure. You could even use this as a Ruby Riot, I think. I think it's a beautiful looking figure, at least in rendered images. We got to compare it to our elites, our basics that we've seen from Mattel. So I think this is a must cop here for Ruby Soho. I don't even think twice about it. Speaking of which, we do have Brody Lee in the same set in his suit. I say this is a cop. Any suited body, I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of them to have different guys in different suits, different body molds, different little things you can do with interchangeability so i think any suited guy for me is a cop but you may be a pass on that but i think Brody lee in suit is a must cop i know a lot of people have him in his wrestling gear uh, a lot of people got the you know the negative one two pack but i think that Brody lee in the red suit is also a cop we also have a look at owen hart here now this is going to be completely up to you as well I would say wait on it if you want like a better looking Owen Hart, but I think you could also pair some different body parts together and, you know, just use the head sculpt. If you're if you're getting Owen Hart, man, just go ahead and get it. If you see it on the shelves, go ahead and get it so you have that head sculpt. If you want it mint on card, you have that modern day packaging with an Owen Hart figure, which is really cool to come by. A significant moment in figure history right here bringing back Owen Hart. I think this is a must cop as well. I could see you passing on it for a better look. Maybe you pass over the ringside exclusive or the luminaries, but I could see you definitely getting at least one of them. So make your decision right there. You can cut corners right there and decide. Maybe you want to spend a little bit more on the exclusive with the accessories, but if you want the luminaries just for the head and torso and stuff for future fix-ups for Owen Hart, do that. But I could also 
see you getting both if you're a big Owen Hart guy. Uh, I, I would probably say cop the unmatched and then wait, but you know, you never know. You, you never know there. We're going to have to do some waiting on that, but Owen Hart is, I think you got to cop one of them. That's the point I'm trying to make. Jamie Hayter for me is going to be a pass. I don't think it's one of those figures necessarily that we need. I think we have a lot of talent in the women's division right there, but if you do want to complete that women's roster that we're building slowly but surely, that's a cop for sure. You have the Lucha Bros here in the same unmatched set. This is a pass for me. I'm also going to throw Pac in there. I think Pac and the Lucha Bros are all passes here. Depending on the, how they look is going to go a long way. Since we only have great images of these guys so far, they're easy passes. We don't know what we're going to get. on Rival 3, Pac was kind of a eh. And then the Lucha Bros, we've seen those a couple times. Plus, we have the Supreme Editions before we get these. Most likely, that's going to be the case. So these are easy passes for me. I think the Lucha Bros are a pass right now in this set. We will have to find out, but I think that is the case. You also have Unmatched Series 8. I think this full set's a cop. I think it's a really nice set. You're going to have Malachi Black in his suit. You got a lot of nice details going on with this. I, I love I love this set as a full. I'd say cop the full set. Don't even skip it, man. It's a great one. Speaking of which, Unrivaled 13 with Matt and Jeff Hardy, Dan Housen. Beautiful looking set. Again, this is another must cop set, especially since this is all going to be like first time in the line. Guys, lots of new things going on. New molds, new things, new roster members. I think this is easily a must cop for the whole wave. Don't think you're going to have to, you know, lose sleep at night over this wave. We also have Unrival 14. Now, for me, I think this is a full pass, except for Keith Lee, Swerve Scott, and, of course, Orange Cassidy, depending on what he looks like. Now, I'm sure that Trent will be updated. Like, we'll have updated looks. Maybe they'll be way better than their Unrival Series 8 counterpart, but... Hopefully, they do the Orange Cassidy the way that I've been preaching on this channel for a while now, where they make his legs completely poseable, easily to pose around and do things with. And then you have your Unrivaled 3 for the Hands and Pockets feature, or their Unrivaled 8 now for the Hands and Pockets feature. Then you have your poseable wrestling Orange Cassidy here in Unrivaled 14. They have plenty of time to mold all that and do all that, so hopefully that'll be the case. But I put pass, except for Swerve Scott, Keith Lee, and possibly Orange Cassidy. Depending on what he looks like, we'll have to find out about that. I think Mox kind of falls in that same category. We don't know what it looks like completely, so it's kind of hard to say. For now, I'm going to say pass because we have so many Moxes. There's plenty that you could, you know, choose from and, and, and you know, sort of make your decision based on. Yep, par Private Party here. I said cop on Private Party because we've been waiting forever. I thought they would be a part of the first, like, six Unrivaled series. They were waiting all the way until what? Way, way down the line. Like 12. So it definitely cop there. I think they're a must-have. You also have Brian Danielson from Unmatched Series 5 along with Kenny Omega from Unmatched Series 5. Both cops. I, I love the suited jacket for Kenny. We've been over it multiple times. And this is the best Brian Danielson figure I've ever seen. I, I love it on paper. Can't wait to feel it in hand and see what it looks like. However, it's a must-cop. We gotta do the comparison. It's just a must-have there. We have the Walmart exclusive Hangman and Punk. I think that Hangman is a pass. Unless you miss out on the Unmatched Series 4 Adam Hangman page, I don't think you really need both of those, so you guys can make your decision there on which shirt color you like better. For now, I'm going to say pass. And then for CM Punk's Walmart figure, it's an absolute must cop. We've been over this multiple times as well. He is in the trunks. He's got the cloth AEW hoodie. I think that is a must cop, no doubts about it. The Chase Punk will be a lot harder to come by, but the Walmart Punk should be a lot easier. So it's basically a retail version of the Chase Punk, which is very nice to see. Speaking of exclusives, we also have Darby and Sammy. I think these are are also skippable. You know, it's all about attires and what you think, but they look very similar to their others. I think it's just up in the air what attire you like better. You know, if you already have your wrestling gear, you can easily pass on these. Maybe they have sick-ass packaging, though. That's, you know, that's yet to be seen. I'd imagine they have some sort of sticker or something cool going on with them. And then, last but not least, we have the commentary set from Ringside Exclusives or for Ringside Collectibles. I say it's a must-cop for all of them. You might as well get all three of them, unless you're just using them for suited bodies. But again, man, theme of the video. If you want the full set, you go diving straight into it and you get the full set or you pass on the full set but don't don't have FOMO you know fear of missing out you don't want to be you don't want to have the fear of missing out on things so you let things pass or you buy things because you fear of missing out that definitely happens as well man but I think that pretty much does it for buy or pass I went through everything there and you guys can let me know if you agree or disagree with some of these takes down in the comment section below but I feel like I did my due diligence here and uh and giving you reasons why you may or may not want to cop these figures Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below, man, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out goes to Waluigi Stan, who says, Man, I just noticed the new intro. That shit's epic, but... If you were a, uh, if you're a long time for you or the channel, bro, I've had that, I've had that intro for years, for, for absolute years, using it only on My Damn Hall's episodes, so there you go, there's a fun fact for you, man, but 
Huge shout out to Waluigi Stan. We all stan Waluigi, damn it. We all do. And if you don't... You cross the line.